and welcome to another episode of Asylum TV. Today, we're going to talk about keeping your engine a little bit cooler while you're on the trail. Now, you've got a couple options while you're out there. When you're on a trail, it's going to take a long time, you're going at slow speeds, you need to let some air out. Okay? The engine's getting pretty hot. First thing you can do is you can remove the little plastic inner fender liners that come with the Jeeps. They don't do a whole lot, but you know, keep some mud off the inside of your compartment. It's not really necessary. When you take those off, you can feel the heat that comes out. So that brings us to our next step. We're going to vent the hood today. Now, there's a lot of options out on the market. Some of them are much more expensive than others. You can go all the way as far as getting a brand new hood with some heat reduction vents, special designs. It's going to run you upward of $1,000. What we're doing today it's only going to cost you just over a hundred bucks. Today we're going to be putting on the full louvered hood kit from Synergy Suspension. If you don't recognize Synergy Suspension, it's the manufacturing arm of Poly Performance. Of course, we all know and love Dave, right? What this is going to do, it's going to allow heat to escape from the engine block, come up out of the hood. So when you're spending that long day on the trail, you're not going real fast and getting the air into the engine, this is at least going to let the hot air out. All right, so before we put this on, we've got to take off some of our little things like, of course, our little rubber stoppers here. We're going to take off the tie-down latch here. We've got to go on the underside, and we've got to take off the ground strap and unhook the feeder hose to our windshield washer. And then, of course, we'll remove the Torx head bolts here and we'll remove the entire hood so we can do all the work off the vehicle because we are going to be doing some cutting, a little bit of sanding and grinding just to get everything nice and neat. All right, so we got our hood off the Jeep and now we're going to prep it for all the measuring and cutting. Now you can see what we've done here is we've laid some tape down on the spots that you're going to see the edges of the louver panel hit and around the edges of where we're going to be cutting. Now, because we're going to be cutting, we're going to have to be really careful as to any of the spots we're going to nick or hit, because it is potential for rusting. We're also going to hit those edges with a little bit of paint before we end up resecuring the louver back on. Now, seeing how this fits, Synergy's made it real easy for us by giving us a nice cutout for where the windshield wiper spray is going to go and for the two holes attaching the, uh, the loop back on. So once we can fit those in, you see where they all set up? I'm matching with my two screw holes here and the windshield washer there. From here, what we're going to do is measure our corners to make sure that we do have an exact center fit. And then we're going to take our Sharpie and we're going to mark off all our drill holes here. All right, so you can see we've measured off, plotted our holes and our cutting lines. Now there's a few different cuts you can choose for what type of airflow and the structural integrity that you want to keep with your hood. You can do minimal cutting, which is going to keep all the structural integrity. You can do a moderate type of cutting, which is still going to maintain all the structural integrity, but those two aren't going to give you as good of an airflow as you're going to get. The first one will give you very minimal. It's going to be pretty much for looks. The second one will give you some decent airflow coming out. What we're doing is making the full cuts along the lines of the louver panel so that we're going to get the maximum amount of airflow coming off the engine. What we also did is we measured our corners once we sat it to make sure that both corners were an equal distance from the corner of the hood and measured off to make sure it's straight when it comes off the line here. Okay. Then we're going to make our cuts and even out the lines, toss a little paint on it, then we'll be ready to put the louver on and start securing it down. Get the hood back on, everything's painted, measured out, and secured. Now, of course, you do have your options. You can see mine here, I went with a flat black. You can order from Poly Powder Coated, but it's going to come more of a gloss, more of your standard powder coat. I love me some flat black, so I ordered the raw version, took it home, 
and went and flat blacked it with an automotive high heat. Since we're going over the engine block, I chose that paint specifically. You've got some of your standard high heat paints that hold up to about 500 degrees, your higher heat paints that go 750 to about 1200. The Rust-Oleum automotive high heat can withstand up to 2000 degrees of temperature. So, of course, while our engine's running hot, we're covered. If anything does happen, you know, you puke some fluid on the manifold and it sparks up from flames, you're gonna have some time to get out with your fire extinguisher, whatever you need to do, before this thing's gonna be ruined. So you've got a little bit of time to be able to save it. Um, now that we've got everything secured, latch the hood back on, just gonna pop the hood back up, reattach the ground strap, reattach the hose for the windshield washer, and we're gonna be all done. We've got ourselves an extra bit of cooling that, got to admit, does look pretty badass. Well, there you have it. Everything's installed, reconnected, fits beautifully. Can't wait to see how much heat's coming off my engine next time I'm sitting on a nice long trail that's only about a quarter mile long. Well, that's it for today's episode. If you have any questions or you want to check out more about it, you can check out the write-ups and others on jeepasylum.com. And stay tuned for more episodes because springtime's here, so that means we're going to be hitting the trails. We'll see you soon. Your time, so take it off.